like I can make it. The storm is over now. Amen, amen. Listen, want to say good evening, good evening to everyone. I want to say thank God for another day. Thank God for all of you. I thank God for us being back on the Men to Men Talk Back, the talk up show tonight. And we are at part two, part two of the topic from last week. Can a person be forgiven for suicide? And we had a great topic, um, a great conversation on last week and such a hard, hard uh, question. And so as we have just a conversation about the matter, we thank God again for us being back here. But we also want to uh, talk about some other things as well uh, on tonight after we uh, sum up tonight on suicide. I'm sure we might have to come back again at a later uh, month and address it again. But uh, tonight we want to also talk about uh, leaders, uh, cheating leaders and, um, cheating on their wives and, uh, church hurt. And, and, uh, there, now we have the topic of food stamps that we see trending across America. Also, we see, uh, that the 
social media has been in an uproar about Art Kelly and the uh, music artists that we we see out in today's society. And as we spoke before, we talked about some of these gospel artists uh, bringing secular artists into their songs and perverting the, the message or in the church house and the way they live and their lifestyle. But tonight we've, we're going to go hit on uh, can one be uh, forgiven for suicide? And before we go and welcome our guests, I would like I would like to say anybody listening in tonight to mute your cell phone. We have some interference in the background. Somebody's driving a car or something. Uh, if you can mute your your cell phone, please. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. All right. Welcome again, our co-host. Amen. As always, my brother. Pastor Carl Young. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, uh, Pastor Nino. Uh, another show, amen, um, where we talk about the hard-hitting um, um, stuff that is going on in the world, but we always come from a uh, Christian aspect of uh, two pastors. Um, we give our perspective. Now, a lot of stuff you might not agree with. You might not agree with, but we are just giving our perspective about things in this world uh, and then it's in times that need to be said. Um, so we just thank everybody for tuning in um, tonight. Amen. And um, as Pastor Nino said, if anyone could uh, please mute your mind and we will, uh, you will be afforded uh, to give your comments at the end of the show. Uh, we greatly appreciate that. So if you want to write down a question uh, so you can remember it and, uh, or comment, uh, you can ask us at the end of the show. So I'm looking forward, forward to a great show. Amen. Amen. That's right. Uh, uh, we're looking for a great show tonight. We had a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, basically past the saying that, you know, they don't talk about these issues uh, a a as much in ministry. Um, it's really a topic that don't really come up a lot, you know, uh, and it's one of that, you know, people out here, they want to know they might have loved ones that committed suicide. They have uh, there's been pastors, as we said, on the last Wednesday night, pastors, you know, that. The members said that they uh, pastor was a loving man, of a loving father, a loving husband, a loving uh, a, a, a loving leader, and and uh, they couldn't believe that one would uh, commit suicide and take his own life, and uh, people left with a uh, 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 empty uh, explanation. They they don't know what in the world going on. But as I stated, you know, men, a man, we 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 compress or uh, 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 depress. We take in a lot different than a, a, a female or a woman would. Um, you know, a lot of men, we endure a, a lot. And I'm not saying that that, that men is the only one that, that may have uh, committed suicide. There's women too. But we process things differently. And uh, a lot of times we, we carry a lot of this weight and baggage and stuff. And we never have no one to really confide in us. But then you look at these pastors that have taken their life. You kind of wonder uh, where uh, were the discerning spirits in that ministry that knew that that pastor was going through this stuff. But before we get into the conversation tonight, as always, we're going to ask Pastor Carl to uh, just give us a word of prayer before we go into our conversation tonight. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, we thank you for another show. Lord God, we thank you for another day of months and another living. Lord God, we thank you for another day of grace and mercy. Lord God, we thank you for another day to try to get it right and please you. And now, Lord God, we ask for forgiveness of all our sins, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And Lord God, from this point on, let me and Pastor Nino decrease so that you may get the glory out of the show. And we call for your presence in this show on tonight. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor, I tell you, man, uh, there was some people that, you know, uh, reached out. I know one that said that, man, this show was was so uh, 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 gr of a great show that it made it made them want to go and research. And that's that's what we we aim for. A lot of times we don't even we don't even put it out there like that, Pastor. But the things that we say, we make, you know, it kind of make people want to go and look it up or go out and just research in that, you know, God's getting the glory because someone is going beyond and, and trying to, and they're going to look at that Bible. They're going to go through and they're going to find. And, and, and that's what we do. We do things that, because I don't have all the answers. I know Pastor Carl would say the same, 
But we what we do know, we want to tell you in, in the spirit of love. And also we want to share the, the word of God. Amen. And, and tonight, you know, we, we we back here again, suicide. And last uh, last week, uh, you know, I've had a lot of uh, of things that we we talked about. So as far as no understanding what suicide um, is, it, it is not a mental illness in itself, but a serious uh, potential consequence of treatable mental disorders that include major depression, uh, bipolar di disorder, um, post-traumatic stress uh, disorder, and uh, uh, um, uh, borderline personality disorder, schizophrenia, uh, substance use disorders, you know, because uh, a lot of times people will take drugs and and there, there, therefore that drug can uh control them we see even little children here in the last uh months or so committed suicide because they was bullied bullied they was bullied and and, and so it, it was so unbearable that they committed the size a little boy committed suicide a little girl has committed suicide because of being bullied and uh, you know, that, that again, having no one to talk to, having no one to really, you know, uh, come to their rescue. And, and, and that's what happens. You know, no one comes to the rescue. And uh, so I'm going to let Pastor Carl uh, go ahead on and jump in. And I got some things that I want to uh, address and talk about as well at, when I get back in. Go ahead, Pastor. Well, Pastor, with that mental thing, you, you threw me an alley you. <laughs> so it goes, it goes in conscious exactly what I'm going to touch on right now. Go ahead. And I'm going to come from the um, scripture of Isaiah 55 and 6. Mm -hmm. And it says, this is the King James Version. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. Call you upon him while he is near. Now let me, re let me repeat this part. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right. And it's just like Pastor said. A lot of people don't start out in a mental condition. A lot of people um, sometimes over the years develop that. Right. Now, the, the question was uh, brought up last, uh, and a lot of people had even, you know, commented to me on this, about um, that it says that once you commit that sin, did you have time to repent? So a lot of people were saying that you couldn't be forgiven because you didn't have time to repent. So um, I went to this verse where it was actually uh, given to me. It says, call upon him while he is near. See, we never know what state our soul is going to be in on that next day. See, we, we just take for granted a lot of people that we can just do stuff and we're going to have time to ask for forgiveness or we're going to have time to get it right. Uh -huh. And the Bible clearly tells us, Pastor, that tomorrow is not promised. Right. Pastor? Right. Tomorrow ain't not promised. It ain't. It is no promise that I'm going to make it through the night. Okay? And I think a lot of people take that for granted. So when we talk about that mental state, I could be driving to work tomorrow, and this this day, hypothetically, that, you know, I, I, I cussed my wife out, I hit my wife, I abused her, or, or just did something crazy to her, and then I don't make that thing right with her, but on my way to work, I get in a car crash and I go into a coma. Uh huh. Now I'm in a coma. Now my last thing that I did that was heavy on me is I didn't apologize to my wife. You know what I'm saying? I didn't make that thing right. I right. went down uh, with wrath on me and I let the sun set. Mm -hmm. So now I hope that now now this is me. I hope that I've done enough to get me in. But some people have not even really have a relationship with Jesus. Uh -huh. Some people don't have a relationship, or some people, Pastor Nino, their sins have overtaken them. Uh -huh. They know Jesus, Pastor, but their sins have overtaken them to when the point that they on the fence. Mm -hmm. Be hot or cold. You know what I'm saying? Don't be lukewarm, I'll screw you out of my mouth. Some people are on that fence, Pastor. Right. Oh, my goodness, I'm feeling right. that. A lot of people are on the fence, on so the fence. they think that they did enough, you know what I'm saying? But if you're on the fence, you have not done enough. 
Mm. You have not done enough. See, so the thing is, is you got to speak the Lord why he may be found, meaning tomorrow is not uh, promised to us, people of God. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, you say, well, I, I, I'll call that friend that I've been mad at for a couple of months now. I, I make it right with him when I see him again. You might not never see him again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or some stuff, or some stuff, Pastor, you bury it. Uh-huh. You bury it. Right. You don't, you don't deal with it. You bury it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Unforgiveness is sometimes plays a huge mm -hmm. part in that, with unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. As far as us not being able, we all know, See, we, we, we talk about suicide, mm -hmm. right? But let's talk about some of the sins that were really, really, really uh, uh, way, um, heavy on you not getting man to heaven, and one of them is unforgiven. Because the Bible says, if you do not forgive others' transgressions, I will not forgive you of your transgressions. That's it. So you see that? He's saying that if you don't forgive people, I won't forgive you. Mm. I will talking. forgive you of your sins. You talking if you about. Can't for, so some people, some people walking around with all this unforgiveness, you know what I'm saying? So we see, realistically, we see another sin that you can actually do that he said he will not forgive you, Pastor. Right. He will not forgive you for that. If you can't forgive, because what he's saying is, you got the nerve to say you know me, and I forgave you of all your dirty little sins, but you got the nerve not to forgive nobody, Pastor. Right. And, and, we, and, and if you want to be realistic, Pastor, and me and you actually had a deep conversation about this in the shop, where we talked about, I'm not going to let unforgiveness um, overtake me, and I'm going to forgive people. Right. We said we always want to forgive people. Right. You know what I'm saying? No matter what they did, because we all have had church hurt. Right. So church hurt will bring in unforgiveness, and unforgiveness will cause the Lord not to forgive you of your sins. So realistically, what I'm getting at, people of God, is you've got to make sure every day that you are asking for forgiveness of your sins, you're getting in a closer walk with God, you're praising God, you're reading your Bible, you're being kind to people, you're trying to show the fruits of the Spirit. You know, some days are worse than other days. But when it comes down to it, what's really in your heart? Mm -hmm. What's really in your heart? And, and I said this last time, I'm going to turn it over to you. If somebody asks me about Pastor Nino, I'm going to tell them I've never seen that man out of pocket, uh -huh. which I never have. Right. See, your fruit is going to really tell who. If you really want to know what you say, say for real, all you got to do is ask somebody who's going to be honest. Like if somebody asks me about my mom, I'm going to tell them, man, my mom's a fire. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Your fruit will we'll, we'll talk with us because sooner or later, Pastor, who you really are is going to be revealed. Yeah. So my point tonight is, people of God, let's not even play with that fire. Yes, let's it. just make sure we're walking close with God, we're getting close to God, and we're doing what we got to do. Amen? Amen. Amen, Pastor. Great opening tonight, man. Um, you know, you hit so many points uh, about you know, sin and being in a coma or, you know, being on a machine. You know, we got to get ourselves right for no man knows the hour, the second, the day that the, the son of man, Amen. I mean, the, you know, the uh, man of God will come. Amen. We don't know when Jesus is going to turn. We don't know. But what we're saying tonight is this is, is a difficult question and you won't hear it a lot of times in our today's ministries because, it, you know, it, it really, it's almost like revelation. Revelations is never hardly preached in the church today. Um, and, you know, I was having a conversation and uh, it brought to me a mind, you know, we look at so many different things and, and granted again, you know, I don't have all the answers, but what I do know is that yes, Jesus died for all our sins. We, we understand that, that right there. Um, you know, people would say Jesus died for, you know, he, that what he did on the cross covers everything. But then, then you then you would have to say, do that. Will that cover the the priest that 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 rapes a little a little boy? You know, uh, you know, would that cover, um, you know, someone uh, coming out here and uh, knowingly doing the act, and they don't repent? And see what we was talking about on last week, and I was saying that it's more so not about. The, the the issue of whether suicide is in the Bible, but it's a sin 
to harm yourself, just like it's a sin to to destroy your temple. And, and so um, what I want to say is, yes, Jesus died, but but everybody is not going to receive the kingdom of heaven. You know, everybody it's just it's just everybody's mm-hmm. not going to do that. It, it just it, it, if that was the case that what Jesus died, he died for our past sins, our present sins and our future sin. Then it is it, really no 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 need for me to have discipline. I can go out here tomorrow and just do my thing. If that's the case, mm-hmm. some some people would say, you know, Jesus would you know, he 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 died. He covered all the sins, you know. Past, present, and future. So do I go out here knowingly, say, you know what? I know I'm good because I got a past because I, I believe in, I, I I believe that Jesus is the son of God. So I, now I got a past to go out here and do these do sinful acts. It, I mean, it kind of sounds crazy, but, you know, just think about that for a moment. Just think about that for a moment. But, you know, I want to share the word of God. Amen. Because, you know, everything that we do here on this show, we got to go with scripture and in our conversation, but I want to go to John 3 and 5 tonight, and it says that Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except, you know what they say? Except. So that 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 brings on something else coming. A man be what? Born what? Of water and of the spirit, he can do what? Cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. So so he got to be he got to be born with the water and the spirit. And he cannot, unless he cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. And 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 Acts 3 and 19 says, repent. See, we were talking about repent last week. Repent ye therefore and be what? Converted. Let's be transformed. Let's be, let's be changed. Let's be converted. Amen. Be converted that your sins may what? Be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And so we got to say, you know what? I can't just go out here and, and know and say, you know what, I got a pass because I believe in Jesus. I can go out here and commit uh, sin. And I know he's going to forgive me because that's where he died for the, the past, the present, the future. You know, and, and, and these uh, uh, priests that normally know the scripture are supposed to be uh, above. And, 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 and so, you know, what do you say? You know, what, is they going to continue to do the same thing? They've been doing it for thousands of years. And now it's starting to come out more and more and more. Or uh, or uh, or uh, uh, someone uh take your wife and, and get her pregnant. That's a hard thing to swallow. That's a hard thing to forgive, ain't it, Pastor? It's a hard thing for somebody to do that. But but it it, unless it unless we forgive, <laughs> we we forgive, we ain't gonna make it in. I mean it, he 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 all, Pastor Carl already said it. Pastor said what? Unless we, if we don't forgive, if we don't forgive, then he's, he's just, he ain't going to forgive us. And if we want to be forgiven for our sins, then, then, then we have to forgive. But at the same time, uh, Amen. let's look at this, uh, mute your phone, uh, mute your phone line. If you're on the line on the cell phone, amen. Amen. So going back to what we are saying is, uh, that, that, that Jesus Amen. Did die for us, but that's we got to believe. And if you believe, and if you trust, the word trust, that's a big word. You have to trust. You have to believe, and then you trust in your heart. You got to trust. Trust. If I trust, then regardless of my situation, my problems, all the things that I'm enduring, the everything that I, I that makes me feel bad, the things that 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 stays on my mind. If I truly trust Him, then I know that it, one day it's gonna it's gonna work out. Like tomorrow, I, I'm I'm just gonna trust Him enough that tomorrow He's gonna take this burden off of me. But what what happened to the trust when the, when when you got some religious leaders take their life? Do they no longer believe? If they do, do, what happened to the belief? And that's a good question to ask. You know, what do they believe? And that's and that's a thing. Uh, uh, born. We're talking about born again. We got to be born again. And, and, and what is born again? Born again is what a direct and personal relationship with God. Amen. Born again. You know, it, it, it's a relationship. Glory to God with God. And, and so we got to be born again. I'm gonna read you uh, two more scriptures, and then we'll get it back to Pastor Carl. Jesus said in John three and three. Amen. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot see it. 
if he unless he be born again, he has to come to with a repentant heart. Amen. To be, you know, enter into the kingdom. He just can't. I can't go up in there and say, you know what? I, I'm going to go cheat on my wife. I know I'm good because because Jesus died for me. And then I check out of here. I'm going to hell. I ain't going to make it. I'm sorry. I'll go out here and just say, you know what? I know I'm going to be forgiven. Let me go up here and shoot up the school. That'd be crazy thinking that way. And and, and, and and we always, as preachers, we when we go out to the to the highways and the byways, when we go out to the to the hospitals, when we go out to the rest homes, we, we want to bring people into to a, a salvation of the Lord. We want to 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 welcome them to come in if they're not saved, to turn their life a, a, around. And this is the things that we do. But but yet we got to still let them know we got to live a certain lifestyle. You know, we know that Jesus died and he rose. We know that he put all of this world's sins on his back. But I, that don't give me a pass to go out here and do my thing. It don't it don't give me a pass to, to, to do these acts. You know, I can't go out here and just shoot up somebody. The Bible says thou shalt not kill. I just can't go out here and say, you know what? I'm just going to take my shotgun and ride downtown and just shoot shoot where I please. And then I, and then I end up killing five folk. And and, and and you know, and so I can't be crazy to say, well, you know what I do. I know Jesus is gonna forgive me. That that'd be stupid. That'd be crazy to think that way. First Corinthians six and nine says, "Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? And be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor infinite, nor abusers of themselves with mankind." We, we, they they not going to inherit the kingdom. They not. And verse ten says, nor thieves, nor uh, uh, co uh, covetous, nor drunkards, nor rivers, nor uh, extorters shall inherit the kingdom of God. No no liars. You know, li even the liars. You know that it's so much that that fits all these categories. So that's why Pastor Carl was saying that we we must pray daily. We must ask for forgiveness, Amen. Because you never know we might have offended somebody. We can't go out here and just you know offend people, Amen. But again, I think I think that this conversation tonight is one that's, that that a lot of people in the world or uh, of the world and people in the at the job, you know, they might have family members that have affected, especially mothers, you know, come to find that their child has committed suicide because somebody bullied them. That's a that's a hard thing, you know. That's a that's you know and and and, and that child had probably been crying out and nobody come to the rescue. You know, and that's such a such a sad thing. You know, and again, this is a tough, the tough question, but we're going to get back to Pastor Carl and we're going to continue. Amen. 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 Just, uh, just awesome, you know, subject tonight. Amen. Um, you know, just, there's so much there, Pastor. There's so much there that, uh, you know, we really, uh, could go on and on and on. Um, but, you know, you know, I, I definitely, you know, I hope if you have any questions, amen, say that about for um, unforgiveness. Um, so we can, you know, if you got questions or you got a comment. But um, I, I, I kind of want to shift gears a little bit, Pastor, because yes, I really want to get on um, to this, um, this R. Kelly thing. That's one of the hardest topics um, out there right now. Um, I, I kind of want to touch on that. A little bit because you know it is so uh such a hot topic and i want to kind of get to the shutdown the um the shutdown now let me tell you what what's coming what's happening right now what what, what we seeing and you can see this in the beginning of 2019 which is going to be a a, a very good year for christian but let me tell you what's happening the 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 the, the blind the blinds and all this stuff now is people are being is going to be heavily uncovered. Mm -hmm. Sin is going to be heavily uncovered right now in this season. Now, one of the things when I there was a particular show that came on Lifetime Channel and it was called Surviving R. Kelly. Yes, I and saw it that. documented um, some of the um, some of the people that work with R. Kelly, um, some of the victims, uh, and I will say alleged because I wasn't there. But I'm going to say some of the alleged victims that say how R. Kelly, uh, they were with him. One of the ladies said they was with him uh, when he was um, sleeping with a 15-year-old girl. 
But mm-hmm. at the time he got introduced to her, she was 12 years old. Mm-hmm. Now, we see that, and, and see, <coughs> see, Pastor, this is, this is why we got to stay on point. This mm-hmm. is why, Pastor, we got to keep swinging this sword. Because we've seen that this man has went through decades of doing this. He, he doing, but our society is, is so focused on entertainment and wealth that they let it go. Right. See, they let it go, Pastor, yep. because these are the days coming of days of Sodom and Gomorrah. So now that we, we got a man, and because he's an entertainer and he's gifted, and we like his music, he don't even get convicted. Right. He doesn't get convicted. Okay. But there is how much, how how many years have we heard these rumors about R. Kelly and, and, and being a pedophile? Right. We've heard it. We've heard it. My thing is this. With a smoke, there's fire. With a smoke, there's fire. If I keep hearing something, trust me, when, trust me, when you keep hearing something over and over again, whether it's good or bad, like I heard, okay, for instance, I heard uh, uh, Sister uh, Minister Margaret is a good cook. I keep hearing people saying it, but I've never ate her food. I keep hearing it, Minister. Oh uh, man, you should try Minister Margaret's food. Every time I bring the talk, somehow or another, that comes up in a conversation. So the time I ate Minister Margaret's cooking, it was good. Uh huh. But it's, it's the same thing, Pastor. When it's something bad, mm-hmm. oh man, stuff is stuff, man. He's gonna do you wrong. He ain't honest. Mm-hmm. And I just got to say this, Pastor, because I keep it real, our husband tonight, Pastor. Go ahead and keep it 100. <laughs> I just hear people tell me about a particular pastor, uh-huh. right? And they said that he'll get over on you, don't lend him money, ain't going to pay you back, he ain't going to do this, he ain't going to do that. But I, I kept hearing it. Right. I kept hearing it and hearing it and hearing it. So, but I didn't hear it. Right. And sure enough, Pastor... Everything that was said was true. Right. It was true, Pastor. And I'm not trying to down people, but I'm, what my point I'm trying to make is if you keep hearing something, more than two or three people saying something about an individual, you might want to take heed. But mm-hmm. one of the things that I that was really that I found out too um, during this topic is the reason people really didn't want to expose R. Kelly is because it was so many other people doing it. Mm-hmm. That's it. I, the, the, I find, the more I begin to look at this and read upon this, the more I, I find out how many, how much women been raped. Mm-hmm. Even in my family, pastors that I didn't know, mm-hmm. how many women have been sexually abused and sexually raped? So mm-hmm. it was, it was a, it basically was something that men could get away with. And particularly, it was a lot easier for them to do it with younger women. Pastor, this is showing you where are now the veil is being pulled off with the Me Too movement. Where the women, a lot of women are coming forward. And a lot of women are, te- because a lot of women have kept this in them, Pastor. Because this is our society, the way women have been sexually abused. Mm-hmm. Now, see, this is, now, see, this is, now, let me tell you something, too. Because I kind of feel the tingle. Pastor, this is the kind of stuff that they don't want to talk from the pool pit. And, 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 and here's the shame in that, Pastor. Here's the shame. Because as she, this is something that some of your members might have gone through. But because you're not addressing it, they're still holding that pain. Mm-hmm. Because if it happened when they were a, a, a younger person, Pastor, um, you know, it, they might not know how to deal with that. Mm-hmm. Or depending on what your um, financial... Uh, status is you might not can afford so what do they do they carry that around with them they carry it into their marriages they carry it into other relationships pastor Mm -hmm. the sexual abuse towards women in this country is outrageous the more i dug into this pastor the more i begin to see that this is a problem and then it even is a problem with pedophiles about six years ago i read an article that between nine countries, right. they had a pedophile ring that was so um, so big, they had an encrypted <coughs> website. Mm. The encryption of the website was so bad, it took the FBI and CIA three years to crack it. Mm. But once they cracked it, they found eight to 
nine countries that had a a a a, 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 um, a pedophile ring where they had houses where they would meet them. They mm-hmm. had little boys and girls that they would put them on camera and stuff, and they would watch them. Pastor, right. this, is, this is Pastor. This is a serious problem. Right. And it's and, and I praise God that at this at the beginning of this year, he uh, I'm t- I feel this, Pastor. I feel this. That's why I'm going here. That he is pulling. He is pulling the covers off. Mm-hmm. He's pulling. It, it, if you are, oh my God, who comes to roll shut that up? If you are in sin this year, Pastor, the covers is going to be pulled back from you. The covers is going to be pulled back from um, sin in this country, and one of them is these kids that are being um, that are being taken advantage of, women not being raped, and men who are not being held accountable for, accountable for that, Pastor. Mm-hmm. And I'm also feeling I'm gonna turn it over to you when I say this, Pastor. I just really felt. That he is really proud of us for this show, Pastor. Yeah, he, he's proud of us Amen. for doing this. Amen. So I'm gonna turn that over to you, Pastor. Amen, Pastor. Amen. And you know, uh, as I was listening to you uh, talk about uh, the the things that just came on, I seen the same show. I I turn and turn back, turn and turn back. The only thing I have with this uh, whole issue is that you know why now? You know, I, I mean, I'm the why now? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm a why mm-hmm. now? Come out. You know, because all of these people rode with him knowing that he had this condition. But because they were yep. get, getting some out of the deal, they they turned the bl- they turned the blind eye. So I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna sit on no pity party, no no pity party for nobody. If I sit there and, and, and I know something and I continue to just deal with it, then I might well shut my mouth. But but they come out here because I guess the funds are low and they want to come out because everybody in the world know, know this man. And the problem that I have going back to talking in the spiritual sense is that he had a ongoing investigation. And, and these people, you know, brought him into their church ministry, knowing he got this condition of, 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 of lust and sing right in the church and sing right in the church, Pastor. Sing, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. <laughs> and I, I even saw the song, and what, but I won't even in the same state I'm in now. But I'm just wanting to point that out is that you know the the enemy so trick, he's so smooth with it because he said, you know what, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna let him be this way, and I'm gonna show you how I can fool, and how he fool was they didn't care that he had ch- charges. All the thing they was wanted was they got the publicity. They got the, the people to come in. And I'm sure that Sunday that everybody found out that Art Kelly was going to be there at that church. I mean, you probably couldn't get another car park in the in the parking lot. I'm sure of that. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. and I'm sure of that, that you know, because you got to look at that, man. You know, you, it's like, you know, do you want somebody to tear down your standard? You know, you got, where's your standard at? You know, because if you allow this, then you you make way for everything else to come in. Now you got the uh, just like when you bring the worldly stuff into the church. Now you got to keep it up to try to keep the young folk. Because there's some pastors out here say, you know what, we gonna we gonna we gonna turn it up in here. And I watched that uh, a video of a pastor, and and these joker was dancing to that uh, uh what's that song uh the go go the go go yeah in Maryland everybody love that uh, uh go go up in Maryland. And them joker was grinding and bumping right there in the church house. And you and you this is what I'm saying. You let this you open the door for that box to be opened, and now it then it then it then uh grew like wildfire. Uh, and and this is what we see, Pastor. You know, and but but going back to what uh I, what you were saying and what I'm saying is these people should have been and came out and said something. They should have been came out with something. You know, and then you gotta kind of wonder why now? You know, why now? And and you know, I'm thinking like, man, you know, uh, is it about money? Uh, 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 what is it? Did somebody, you know, send you a, a letter and say, you know what, we're going to see, we're going to give you an extra of three, four million dollars if you could come and let's, because we want to tear them down. I, I don't know. But, but again, you know, he going to get it eventually because you only can go for so long and do this without God saying, you know what, uh-huh. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a stop to it. And this is his stop. Even though they, they came out with this, I'm going to put a stop with it. And, and the thing about it, he ain't by himself. You know, they, they talked about this all on social media, but yet and still they forget. And as I mentioned earlier about the priests messing with the uh, little boys, they, this is something they've been doing for centuries. 
you know, uh, homosexual, uh, with uh, uh, raping little boys in, 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 in the uh, what they call the uh, synagogues and, and and these places. And, mm -hmm. and and so it was only a quick uh, a quick view of that, you know. But my thing is, you know, Pastor, and and I got like I said, I got two. We had this conversation in the barber shop, me and a client, and uh, I'd say my views is always going to be a little different because I try to remain open and and neutral about it, you mm -hmm. know. But we got a lot of women, boy. They was all on fire. And I ain't here to bash the women because I ain't taking away that there's some women that been hurt. But you can't keep being quiet, you know, about being hurt. You got to go forth. And some people say, well, you know, you're not in their shoes. And I'm not. But at the same time, my openness at, at the conversation was that, you know, a lot of people, especially on my page and, and uh, social media uh, outlets and Twitter and uh, Facebook, they were just bashing him. They were bashing him. They bashing him. Now, I don't know if he done anything in the last couple of years. I know that this stuff was something that happened, you know, uh, a while back. And uh, But my point was, is that any different what he's doing? And I, I try to, you know, try to keep an open mind. That I said, anything that he doing versus a guy that go to a club and pick up a girl that's intoxicated and they both consent to go into a room and they, shack, they, they had that one night stand. Is it any different than that? Is it different because he got money or is it the same thing? I mean, it's some of the similar, the same things. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, we, we can go deeper. We can go deeper on it because every one of us got a family member that has been uh, sexually assaulted. And sometimes even by their own family member. And, and that, which is a hard, mm -hmm. hard thing to swallow. And that's a whole nother subject topic for us, but for itself, Pastor. That's, a, that's one that I know that, uh, on our radio probably will go through the roof. But, but the point is that, you know, women are getting abused and, and, but it's, you got this, you got to start saying stuff. You got to, uh, we got, you know, get out of that situation. Don't wait 30 years because if you kept it that long, I mean, you know, it, you know, you kind of, when you get away from the situation, you got to go seek that help. You even got to move to the next town. You got to get out of Dodge and, and tell your story, man. You know, because don't let them jokers uh, 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 use you and abuse you. But at the same time, th this, th th the TV ratings for this uh, episode had went out the roof. And, and, it, and it showed from social media, everybody were playing it. You go on a, a Facebook uh, videos, everybody recording it live for, uh, on, the, on their TV, man. It was one of the most watched things that uh that weekend uh uh uh, uh and passing i'm telling you but but you got to look at you know where was the standards when these brothers uh say you know come to our church it's just like some of the other artists that we see you know in entertainment you know and the music artists it, it's a it's a you know secular and spiritual don't have no no mixing shouldn't have no mixing it's totally different you know, Snoop Dogg came out with a gospel record and that joker still cussing and swearing and, 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 and getting drunk and, 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 and putting up grain signs. He ain't chained now. You know, if the word really gets into us, if the spirit of God really gets into us, then it should be evidence of some change to come in your life. I ain't going to talk the same. I ain't going to look the same. I ain't gonna, um, I'm not going to react to things the same. I'm going to be a little different. And, but, but what we see is as long as, as the members come into church and the, and the collection plate is going, we good. Well, you can do anything. Swing from the ceiling. You can come in there with a, with a, with a two-piece on. We good. And this is what's got, that's going on in the church house today. And it's sad because this is, this is what we see, Pastor. It's a shame. And, and, and uh, you got not only that, but you got uh, 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 the, the television uh, uh, pastors uh, com now coming out that they, um, you know, have cheated on their wives and these same pastors uh, are in with getting Nicki Minaj. They 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 say, you know what? You can put Nicki Minaj on your on your album. I I'll prove that message. I'll prove it. I put my stamp on it. And it mm -hmm. and, 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 great. It is yeah. There's no there's no way in the world that 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 we that 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 light have anything to do with darkness. They can't intermingle with each other. It, it's it, it's. It's it's like uh you know lemon lemons and, and oranges. They don't mix up. <laughs> they don't mix up. But I'm gonna let Pastor get back in, and then we're gonna continue. Yeah, uh, I think that's a, a good thing that a lot that a lot of this stuff have infiltrated in the church, and it, and it has happened in the church. You know, um, it, it's this Pastor that where we are as a society and as as a world now, it, it's it's where we are, and if, as people can see, Pastor. This stuff is not getting any better. It's not. It's not getting any better, Pastor. Um, mm -hmm. 
sexuality and sexual perversion is at an all time high. Right. It's at an all time high. And I remember I told y'all one time I was reading a magazine and I seen a transgender <laughs> man that was transgender from a woman and a transgender woman that was trans uh, transgender to a man and there was a couple. Mm. This is this is this is where we are. This is where we are. Mm-hmm. How confusing is that? How confusing is that? This is where it, sexual perversion. It, it, that's the thing of the enemy is rebellion. Do as you feel. Do as that will. That's 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 the um, Alistair Crowley uh, wrote a book called uh, uh, the Satanic Bible, and that was his thing. Do as they will. And children have always been at the forefront of Satanism. Right. Okay. So it's not surprising to me that people want to sleep with young women, they, uh, young men. They want to sacrifice them. They want to do this. And, um, and Pastor, I want to touch on something before we move forward. Is when you said that you're not going to have no pity party for a lot of them. And that's true. But the only people that I really would say is excluded from that is those young girls. Right. Because they are easily manipulated right. at that age. 13, right. 12, 14, 15. All they see is, you know, and they said that, you know, he tell me going to help her with their music career. That's the bait. Right. Then the next thing you know, their parents ain't seeing them for months. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, there, there's something wrong with that. Right. You know, and some parents got bought off. Some parents got, they settled. Right. After, so you're exactly right. As long as the money was coming in and he was paying jokers, and giving y'all some substantial money, oh, you was good. You probably, oh my goodness, you probably even really picked some of them picked the daughter out, probably. Yeah. Some of them probably did it. Oh, girl, you're going to blow up and you helping. It's no trouble because, Pastor, this is just where we are as a society now. Right. And, and, and I want to touch on something else you said, Pastor, because you made some good points as far as people who let gospel entertainers in. Now, Pastor John Gray, and I am not judging them, but it's not funny to me that you would cheat on your wife and have a, and, and allegedly, because this is all allegedly, I wasn't there, but this is the news, it smoked this fire, that he had the girl that he was cheating with, used to follow him, him and him, and he would be in the same hotel room with him and his wife. So he would allegedly leave his hotel room and go down there and see the other girl. And then somebody said they had a phone recording where he said, um, burn all my messages, he knows about us. You know what I'm saying? So then it comes out, he makes a confession allegedly about it. You know what I'm saying? About he made a mistake or whatever, and he turned it over to God. Well, once again, Pastor, and and this could be another thing, he he, he asked for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the Bible says if you ask for forgiveness, you'll be forgiven if you confess your your faith sins to one another. Right. So, but the thing is, that, and, and that's another thing, Pastor, it's not a license for you just to go out and do what you want to do. Right. Pastor, see, we're taking this repentance and forget. The Bible says God will not be mocked. Uh-huh. It, God is not going to be mocked, Pastor. And so, here's the thing that I, the, uh, I like to use this, is that the Bible says on that day of judgment, the books were open. And we will all be judged out in those books, right? So it's just like when we go to court. Say I got a DU, say you got a DUI, Pastor, and I got a DUI. But this DUI is my fourth DUI, and I kill people. You got this was your first one, and you ain't had, you know, you're not a heavy drinker. It was a mistake. Mm-hmm. Do you think God's gonna judge us the same? <laughs> Do you think God is gonna judge us the same, Pastor? Mm-hmm. This is why that's that day of judgment. And right. God is not going to be mocked because people always say a sin is a sin. Yeah, a sin is a sin in this realm. But on that day of judgment, when the books were open and everything you ever did is going to be read out, I want to I want to see people when they start getting and read, reading that stuff out and mm-hmm. they don't know Jesus. So, so Pastor, this is basically where we are, you know, as a society. You know what I'm saying? But he was switching gears again, and we don't got much time. But I just want to touch on this shutdown. Yeah. The shutdown, Pastor. Yeah. This shutdown is horrible. Right. Okay. The, the reason why this shutdown is horrible 
it's because, and I'm gonna let you get, I'm gonna let you get in here. It's because I feel like the American people are being used as pawns. Yeah, they are, man. Right. As pawns. So I'll make, I'll make the American people suffer to get what they want, and it's on both sides. It's bo- because, Pastor, leadership in in the division of the country has started at the top. Right. So it starts at the top like anything else. In your household, Pastor, how you and Pastor Carol is, that's how your household is going to be. Right. How me and Pastor Tammy is, that's how our household is going to be. So it starts at the top. So this shut down. Now they're saying that income tax season is shut down right now. Mm-hmm. But you still got to file your income taxes. And you're still paying taxes. But as of right now, there is no in- the IRS is not working. <laughs> right. The, if the TSA having problems. They're saying with security, all kind of parking. You know, they don't got people to clean the park. It's being said, but this is a mess. Right. So, <laughs> but guess what? <laughs> this, guess what? <laughs> Just like the fallen, what does it say? Oh, ye, the, 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 uh, the uh, city of Babylon has fallen. Yes. Uh-huh. So it, I'm gonna let it. you go ahead and get in there, Pastor. <laughs> Man, look, <laughs> you right. It's falling down. It is falling. I said a uh, a uh, 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 last year on on an episode is like a ship with some holes in it. We taking on water, and and we got to get right and get ready. But uh, what we see now, man, and God gives us uh, these uh, things. If we just look. We, he's showing us what we need to do. You see this shutdown? This is the time that God is saying, you know what? I'm, uh, regardless of the shutdown, I want you to have unity with your brothers and sisters. I want you to do what grandma and great grandma used to do. If, if, if a neighbor didn't have cornmeal or didn't have flour, grandma would take them some flour over. If they didn't have uh, food to eat, they would all cook up a basket or something and carry it down into the neighbor house. This was God is showing us that we got to get back to the unity, looking out for one another, because that's how we're going to strive. But this shutdown is such, it, you know. And you said something. I just had a giggle to myself. You said everything shut down. The government shut down. The 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 IRS shut down. How come? The, how come the the, the 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 taxes ain't shut down? How come? How come the, the how come the payment office ain't shut down? <laughs> how come that's the only thing still open? I mean, you know, what I'm saying? you know what I'm saying, y'all. I mean, everything closed down, but the but the hand is still out. How you, look, if you shut down, you need to take the hand. <laughs> You need to take the hand in. That don't make no sense, man. You can still you still begging for folks. You still expect us to pay our end of year taxes, but yet you gonna shut down everything. If you shut down, then that should be that everything shut down. If if the checks can't go out, then the money shouldn't come in. Now, that's where I look at it. And maybe somebody need to address that. They need to have us on CNN, Pastor. You and I on this show. We need to go talk to the world. <laughs> Trump will probably have the station cut off. Because he want, you know, because we talk real talk here. But uh, going back, it, it's 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 you know, it's it's a sad thing. But what it is is tr- is trying to uh, God is trying to wake people up. Because you know what, Pastor? Regardless of this shutdown, we still as business as usual. We still we still business as usual. We still shopping. We still buying stuff. We still gonna go buy Jordan. We still gonna buy these video games. We still gonna do 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 do. And yet we don't make a stand. When they shut down, say, "Okay, we're gonna work. We're gonna save our check." Matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna cash my check and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna buy me one of them uh, fireproof safes and I'm gonna just put my money in the safe. I ain't even gonna put it in the bank because next thing you want to do is shut the bank down. Now I can't get no gas out. Mm-hmm. So that could be something, you know, because there is a financial crisis coming, and that's gonna be the monster that that you think killing in the street is bad now with gangs and stuff. Let brothers and sisters can't go into the ATM and get no money out, and they can't eat, and they can't get no gas, and they can't go buy their medicine. You're going to see a catastrophic destruction here in this America, and it's going to happen. It happened in Italy. You remember them people in Italy, uh, I think it was last year, a year before, two years ago, they they could, they went to the ATM, they couldn't get no money out because they had a, 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 a lockdown, financial lockdown. And, and I think it was like a, a couple of days or 24 hours or, or 72 hours later, they was able to go and, and get a limited amount of money out. 
But this coming to America, y'all, y'all don't think it's coming. They gonna shut this down. Trump gonna shut this down. And say, okay, if I don't get my wall, I'm gonna, I want every bank to shut down. It's gonna be a federal shutdown. We ain't giving no more money to the bank, boy. Yo, I'm, I'm telling you. See, this is what the show uh, does. It, it gets you to think. It gets you to wake up and say, okay, huh? You know what? These brothers are talking something good. You know, I never thought about that. Let me go up here to Walmart and buy me one of them fireproof safes and keep me a couple hundred dollars in there and, and, and save at the house because you don't never know, man. You don't never. Know and get you a good hiding place to hide that booger and, and, and save you up some money in that box. You know, because I'm telling you, it might be a time you're gonna go and the computer shut down. He might say, you know what, you don't be on my wall or uh, the internet shut down. And, and, and if the computer shut down, you can't go get no ATM money, you ain't going to the bank. And what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You don't eat and you in you, you 25 miles away from the house and you can't get no gas. And then and then or you got a a, a newborn baby and and everything shut down. You can't go get no 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 infamy or no 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 milk or nothing. You know. So this is the things, man. It's it's we we got to start waking up and, and looking at this stuff at it is because the 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 writing is plain. Is just that you know what we just you know. And I laugh at uh, forty five a lot. You know, I I'm starting to play him on Thursday night, Pastor. I just get a good laugh at the stuff he say. But this is uh this is real stuff that's happening. Uh, with the shutdown, and then there's some people, there's some old people, Pastor. There's some senior citizen pastors looking and waiting on their check to pay their little bills and to get their medicine, and, and they're waiting on that uh the, the food stamps to come in. And that's another thing I wanted to hit over. I don't think we're gonna have time. Is that in Georgia now? Uh, they I I forgot how many thousands of people they they uh cut off their food stamps. You know, I, on, on the flip side. I'm going to say this about the food stamps, and then maybe we can come back again about the shutdown and food stamps and government. But my my, my thing is this on the on the, on the the food stamps. The senior citizens, there's some senior citizens that need it. You know, when when, when I lost my job and, and I didn't have any any any, any uh, income coming in, you know, I had them. But I didn't, I didn't stay on them. I didn't want to stay on them. I didn't, I didn't want to use the system because the problem with the food stamps uh, situation is a lot of people, they, they, they using it up. I don't want to work. I ain't going to go work. I can get my three $400 worth of food stamp. There are some people passing getting $1,000 because they got about five kids, six mm -hmm. kids, getting $1,000. They selling about three dollars $400 worth of it. And then at, before the month out, the kid's hungry. This is abuse of it. Now there's some people out there that really need it. When you have, I'm not saying you know if you come through a, a financial, uh, you know, like you lose your job or you know you invalid lose, option, you lose your home or something like that. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is that you know this is also waking us up because I've been saying it for a long time. The government is set up now. They gonna give you all this housing. They take. They want to take the man, the black man, out of the family. And say, look, I can get this one, this girl with these kids. We gonna pay for your house. We gonna give you food stamp, and the man can't be in their life. And what they doing? And now they, after a while, you be dependent on it because generation after generation, some of them just stay on it. Then when they cut them off, you don't know what to do because you you so uh uh. You so you know allowing yourself to to dependent. dependent. That's it. You dependent on it, and and so that's what's happening. People we even got dependent on things, and God is saying, "I'm trying to wake you up." You know, and, and that's another topic I want to bring because we need to talk about. We need to create people in our area, man, Pastor. We need to have access to doctors and nurses that we know. In our community, we need to come up with and, and, and show these young people that uh, there might be some far black farmers or young farmers out here. Because somebody got to start planting some food because I said it uh, last year, about seven, eight months ago, that what what's going to happen if the food become contaminated? You know, I ask my son that all the time. So, son, what you going to do if, if the food become contaminated and y'all don't know how to put a bean in the ground? You, you ain't going to be to eat. So that's, I mean, it's serious. And then you got romaine lettuce is, uh, got, got is, is poison and, and hamburger was poison. And, and, and you had your, uh, your, your mm -hmm. bacon, your bacon, your bacon hat was, was messed up and all of that stuff, you know? So, so this is something to look at, but another, again, another great show tonight. Amen. And we're going to come back again and have another good conversation on next week. Hey, we want to thank everybody that's on the, the listen on the radio tonight and on the prayer line. Uh, Pastor Carl, you have anything that you want to add before we um, enter entertain any uh, comments? Let it, let the listeners have uh, comments. Hey Amen. I, I do, but like I said, Pastor, we just give us more ammo um, for next Wednesday. Um, 
this show is really starting to take uh, its own image. It's moving itself because we are giving uh, the Spirit of the Lord permission. <laughs> to, to, we're giving him permission of how we should go. You know what I'm saying? So this, you, as you see, Pastor, this show is taking its own form. You know what I'm saying? We, we're not really, we just here. We're not really driving the show. Yeah. What, what, what these things are doing is something that needs to be put out by he needs two veterans who, who are bold enough to do it. And, and we'll keep it as uh, on a spiritual aspect. So, you know, I just thank everybody for tuning in. Amen. Amen. And just Amen. Uh, continue to support this show. Um, and just uh, just continue to be a blessing to the show. Amen. Amen, Pastor. Amen, Pastor. Listen, Pastor, Pastor Carl, listen, man. I, I, I do apologize, man. I, I spoke to, I talked to a young brother. I've been I've been uh, mentoring and, and uh, you know been counseling a, a young man and I've been knowing him for years and he's been going through church hurt he he went through church hurt he went through having a, a spouse that cheated on him and he done went through mm -hmm. he done went through uh, the, the the fact that people that's supposed to be leaders the shepherds cheating and and I wanted to address it, but we don't have time. So I pray, sir, that we can hit on that next week because I, I wanted to talk about these leaders uh, uh, got wives and then they they round here uh, uh, messing around. They round here, you know, rubbing against, uh, you know, chesting up the females, the women in the church. You know, I, I tell you, it burns me, you know, because I, I I tell you what, them them them, them old them, some of them old old people have, uh, uh, men, uh, they have the touch of feeling. You know, and and, and 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 we are hugging ministry, but there's a way to do it because I'm giving myself some space. I'm giving my, I'm not gonna touch your your upper chest. I'm not gonna do. I'm gonna hug your neck, right. and and I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a space, uh -huh. amen. But there's some leaders they get up and close. You know what I'm saying? They touching their bodies, and, and and this is what you see. And, and so he's hurt, man. And, and he was saying that you know he haven't given up on God. He 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 was really he know that Bible, but he uh he ain't studied like he used to, and he ain't been back to church because of that situation. And 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 a leader, you know, supposed to have more, uh uh um, uh, you know, standard than than to mess with someone's wife or or just to have the touch of feeling. I mean, y'all better keep y'all eyes open because this is going on. You know, yeah, this is what's going on, man. You know, and, and so again, I want to. Hopefully, we can hit on this next uh, next week. Pass along with the rest of our conversation. Uh, it's gonna be hot, so uh, we're going to go in because uh, you know I, I've been menacing to that brother, man, and I, you know I understand where he's, he's hurt, and I understand that he 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 is hard for him to trust. You know, can you can you trust? Can a puppy can a puppy trust the the master when they done been kicked, uh, uh, hit, and beat? And you know, a little puppy walk around with his tail tucked down all the time. You can tell he been abused. And, and so that's the same similarity of of church hurt, you know. And, and his brother, you know, he, he won't, he, you know, he he said he said pastor, he said brother pastor, he said I want to come. He said but I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why. And then he just got to talking to me, man. And he and he used to talk about things in confident. And then and the next Sunday is preached about in the pulpit. And see, that's another thing we need to talk about. Cut, come on, look. Let me let the let let me let the listeners uh that have comment. <laughs> Uh, have go ahead on now and have your comment. <laughs> I'm about to get worked up. You can you can unmute yeah. your phones. You can unmute your phones if you have any comments. Uh, now is the time. Amen. 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 Uh, this is Josh from New York. Uh, Amen. Man. God bless you, Pastor. Oh man, bless you, man of God. I, hey, you guys are on the money. And uh, it's just God truly speaking through you. And I just truly seen this thing being bigger than this phone. I see you guys doing this worldwide tour that this thing's going to become a radio show. That this is the, this is, this is the thing that teach me how to be like. That when the time of this thing comes coming down, the black woman will be right back with the black man again. Yeah, go on, take it. It's all odds, man. It's the last is first. I'm seeing it taking place, man. I'm honored to be back. Can I have something, can I Talk up a little bit, brother. Said I said, it could not have been said any better than what you guys were talking about. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen brother. Uh, thank, you. thank you for that, Pastor. Amen. I didn't catch the pastor's name. Um, um, Pastor Carl. 
It's Joshua, Joshua, Joshua German. He's from New York, a good friend of mine from New York. Amen. Uh, he came down a little while ago and fellowshiped me when I preached at um, Pastor Watkins Church. Amen, amen. God bless you, Pastor, for uh, sharing those thoughts, man. Um, you know, we give everything uh, to God. We give him the glory for this uh, radio show, this, uh, this, this conversation that we have. You know, we try to keep it 100 and, um, you know, we're going to continue to do what thus says the Lord and have more topics and conversations for 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 all of you. Because if anything, it should, what we said from the beginning to end should make you want to go back and research, look up, you know, and, and get you to, to work. Anybody else have a comment, amen, tonight on the line? Yeah, this is uh, Deacon South Sparta. Um, I, uh, I'm always with you guys, even if I'm not online. I, I support you 100%. Uh, you guys hit on the money again tonight. Um, from what I heard, it's like, you know, it's getting out of hand with, with, with you know, celebrities and, and, and rappers and, and, and people of fame trying to persuade the pastors of the church and persuade the congregation to let them come in, and then it, it gets out of, even more out of hand when the pastors or the leaders of the congregation allow this type of uh, type of Satan tree come into their church and 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 and, uh, and paint the grounds that they preach in because it gets to the you know point where the the young kids will listen to them. And then they'll start they'll start following what these rappers and what these celebrities are saying and what they're doing and it, it might not always be godly, as you know, as uh, with Snoop Dogg and and R. Kelly and and even this pastor that that cheated on his wife and his wife said she forgave him because the devil made him do it. No, the devil may have a part in his mind. But every man is it has has a has a mind of his own, and he can make choices. God put it in us that we can make our own choices from right to wrong, and that man made a choice, and that woman's blindly not seeing that, and she's gonna allow him to do that and walk in the church like he did nothing wrong because it wasn't him, but it was him. And I just want to say, you guys hit on on the money tonight, and we have to. Uh, keep fellowshipping and, and worshiping on this line because, you know, I'm growing with you guys and I want to continue to grow with you. Amen. 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 You, man, you know, we, we look at all of this uh, tonight and um, we sit back and, and, you know, it was just formulating in my mind, Pastor, you know, we're going to have this next show, next week's show off the chain. I'm sitting here thinking about, you know, what, how do we handle a visiting guest pastor that's preaching totally opposite of your doctrine. And, and, and matter of fact, saying things that's totally against God, you know, we, 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 we're going to hit on, I want to hit on that a little bit next week, but uh, definitely man, um, like the brother was uh, talking to me and, and confident and um, at the shop, you know, uh, you know, this brother's hurt, man. And, 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 and what he see is, is that everybody turn a blind eye because they are more concerned about just the music and, and all of the dancing and, and, and stuff of that sort. And, and so, you know, we got to draw a line, man. Um, you know, with the touch and feel, uh, especially in, in, in the, uh, in the church house, man. Uh, we just got to keep it real, man. We're going to keep it real on, the, on this uh, prayer line, on this radio show. Anybody else have a comment they want to um, share? Yeah, yes, sir. Well, this is Deacon Sal Sparta. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay, this is, uh, what's up, uh, Pastor Young? This is Stephen Bell. Hey, <laughs> I, 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 what's going on, man? Uh, yeah, you guys cover a, a lot a wide range of different topics and stuff I was, I was sitting here uh, talking to my wife about some of the things we were talking about and uh, uh, that can go either way man but uh, I want to kind of highlight a, a couple of uh, kind of like two things one is uh, and I know, I know we always talk about all has sin and far short of God's glory which is true and for those who do things like what R. Kelly has done or I mean you you will be no, no sin will go unpunished. You know, God forgives, but there's still there's repercussions and consequences. 
for all actions. You know what I'm saying? So, um, needless to say, you know, when, when somebody has been assaulted or has been victimized, um, we will want to be some action done immediately. But I want to, I want, I want to, I want to kind of put a bug in everybody's ear and say this. Imagine you have Apostle Paul before he was Apostle Paul. When he was out there killing these Christians in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Not knowing he was causing the greatest offense to the body of Christ. Then all of a sudden now, he, he, he get introduced to Christ on the road to Damascus. At that particular moment, now all of a sudden, he is not the, the same Paul that we know him to be because he had a divine, a divine you know, uh, encounter with God himself, right? But the world has not caught on to that yet. They just know him as a, from his past. But the only person that knows is he and whoever we with him. You see what I'm saying? So I, I think that, that, that I'm not justifying nobody. All I'm saying is that, you say with, with the example of uh, John Gray, we put so much focus on what he's done, but not focus on what his wife has did. She forgave him? Wow. That's powerful. That is the power of God. It's the power of forgiveness. I don't care if the devil did it or whoever did it. And I, we all know that the devil didn't make him do anything. That was, that was the decision he made. But she, but she on, on, on top of that, decided to forgive him. That, my friend, is powerful. I want to harp on that. She got God. Because <laughs> many people have a hard time forgiving You see what I'm saying? That's God. And even now, up to this point, and Pastor Young, you can, you can uh, uh, relate to this. We, we, we've seen and experienced a lot of abuse in the church, outside the church, with, with dealing with women, uh, smaller women, men. And, man, it, this has been going on before R. Kelly and, and, and even now with R. Kelly. But how do we deal with the root of it? You know what I'm saying? Because they say they lock up R. Kelly and he, he goes to prison. Well, the issue still stays the same. There's somebody else in the, in, in the industry probably worse than R. Kelly. It has come to the forefront yet. You know what I'm saying? But how we, how do we attack the issue from the root? You see what I'm saying? We're dealing with principalities and spirits here. And I don't have to be deep, but that's what we're dealing with. How do we deal with the root of it? That way it won't keep on showing up through somebody else, you know? So that's all I want to say, guys, to add up a few nuggets to that. I hope I didn't cause any confusion or nothing. No, man, you you Amen. you good. We we always keep it one hundred. And as Pastor Carl was saying, when we ask for forgiveness, Amen. God is just to forgive us. The same as uh, you know, if we don't forgive, then we can't enter the end. And I think uh, Pastor Carl made that sh uh, statement at the beginning of our conversation. You know, um, you know, because I know that you know, my I've done some things that 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 you know, me and my wife, uh, it ain't always been sunshine. You know, we had a little disputes, and I had to go back and say, baby, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, keeping it real. But at the, at the same time, um, you know, we, we look at what we're seeing today, and, and we want to bring things to light because we we are held uh, at a, a higher standard. Because, you know, the, the power of that was, yes, that the, the wife forgave him, but it ruined somebody else that was a, a, a believer, a, a sold-out soldier. And, 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 and was just like, wow, you know, so yes, you know, that's a powerful thing. I think that the uh, wife, uh, wife forgave him. I, I, I mean, I, I, that's, that's love right there, but, but that could offend it or one of the sheep and cause it a stray because, uh, uh, infidelity. So, uh, but yeah, this is a great conversation tonight. Um, anybody else have a comment? Um, if you do, uh, uh we, we ask if you will, um, one minute or less, uh, on the comment. Amen. We got any women folks on the on the line tonight that want to share in? We talked about a lot of things tonight. Amen. Pastor Carl, you Pastor have. Nina. Amen. Amen. Hey, mother. Hey, I I just want to say that I I I enjoyed uh, the show tonight. Um, you hit on a lot of things. And when you talked about um, abuse in and out of family and, and everything, I thought that was so appropriate.
appropriate because I'm sure there's a lot of women that um, if they were listening, that they could relate to that. And I am looking forward to, I think you said, you all said next week about church hurt. Yes, and ma'am. I'm anxious to hear, to, to hear that discussion. Amen. But tonight was a blessing. And the, and the gentleman, uh, the pastor from New York, I loved your comment. <laughs> I felt it. I could feel it. Amen. So I enjoyed your comment. Thank God for the, the godly men that we still yet have. Amen. Mother, thank you so much. Amen, always, a, always a pleasure you, to have you on this uh, radio show. We thank God for you. Listen, Mother, are you still there? I'm still here. Listen, I'm, still here. I, I'm praying that uh, we can include on uh, one Wednesday night on show uh, that you can talk to our sisters uh, on, you know, Amen. the ways to carry themselves and the ways that if they, you know, single, you know, what they need to do to 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 uh, be appealing or, or uh, basically how to carry themselves and. And, and, and at all times, you know, just your 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 expertise and your 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 knowledge of that will be greatly needed, and that will be a good conversation to have, um, if not next Wednesday, along with ours, maybe the Wednesday after that, we can get it prepared, and you just share with the women because you know a lot of a lot of times we do kick it, we do talk about things, but it's good to have a, a woman perspective, uh, talking to our sisters because we got to get back to, you know like we used to be, you know, the men being the fa- the foundation of the home, the pillar in the communities, mm-hmm. having a standard, mm-hmm. having, you know, mm-hmm. be, being a, a, a man of, of honor. And, and so we want to maybe tie that in with, with what we, what we should be doing as men, but we want to talk to the ladies. Amen. Because, uh, there's a lot of ladies that don't know. They don't know. They don't have, they might not have no mother, mother in the home. They might not have, you know, the mother might pass or they just don't have it. You got women that are, uh, are, are in homes or in shelters. So, so we want to do that, man. Uh, I get with Pastor Carl and we'll, we'll, uh, connect with you and, and have you on here and you can break down some points, you know, of, 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 of how women carry themselves. Because I think we've lost that today in society as we look in our community today. So uh, hopefully you'll be up for that, Mother, and um, maybe we can bring, um, you know, um, that to not next week, the week after that. Amen. Amen. Also, it's an honor, also, it's an honor and a privilege. I'll, I'll, I'll be honored to do that. All right. Thank you, and Mother. Also, Pastor you know, uh my mother has worked with a lot of battered women, uh-huh. too. So uh, she 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 has a great perspective on battered women as far as rape victims and women have been abused. She brings a great wisdom to that also. Amen, amen, amen. Because like you said, we we we're not um, we're not ca- talking about these young girls that are being tricked. We're not. I'm not talking about those uh, those that are being persuaded or, or um, scammed into a thing. But there was some there's some women normally that of age women that that's more what I'm referring to when we was talking of just a while ago, and um you know these some of these people just continue to do their thing. But yes, we need to talk about these issues that because there are some battered women, uh in the and there's a, 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 a battered women shelter here in um, Franklin County, and um I used to cut one of the battered women's um hair I mean uh, uh son's hair, you know she was from another city. And, uh, you know, just ministering, she's been on listening on this radio broadcast. So she's now no longer in this city, but, um, you know, it, they're out here and, you know, women, you know, women are important and, and, and we need to discuss those things. So pastor, you right. We're going to bring that, um, maybe if not next week, the week after that, so we can line it up. All right. Amen. All right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hey man, another great show tonight. Hey Pastor Carl, anything else you got before we go, man? Uh, hey man, um, I just wanted to touch on, um, and I sent you this flyer. Uh, hopefully you can um, start uh, promoting it. Um, the um, No Family Left Behind seminar um, is going to be taking place on uh, February 9th at Lewisburg College at, at, at 12 noon. Um, you heard from um, Stephen um, Stephen Bell, uh, who is the marketing director and the senior marketing director, uh, Brian DeCall. Uh, they will be coming down 
And also, I'm going to be adding your uh, cousin to that, Maurice. Um, so we're going to have uh, a, a great <laughs> financial seminar. Um, there's a lot of good uh, money things about God, what people do with money for the body of Christ. Because me and Nino are all about the community. We are about bettering people. Um, so, you know, this is going to be a, just a great um, just a great time. That's, once again, a February 9th at, uh, at, at um, 12 a.m. at Lewisburg College. Um, more information will be coming forward on that. Um, so I just want to put that out there. And once again, Pastor, this show is just taking its own image. Mm-hmm. And see, this is Amen. what happens when you, when you give God work. Yes, sir. See, Amen. You, 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 you know, we don't come on here with no agenda. Right. So we ain't trying to get rich. We ain't trying to do this. Yeah, we need donations for the show, but that's not our major focus. Right. Our major focus is touching on these subjects that nobody won't touch. Right. And as you as as you can see, mm-hmm. Pastor, the show is getting more mature and it's going more to another deeper level. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because some of these issues are very serious issues, Pastor, right. that people, that is touch people. So I just uh, thank God for you, uh, for this show, and I'm looking forward to next week. Amen. Amen. I want to thank all our guests, man. Listen, you guys, we here every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock for Men to Men Talk Back, the talk up show. We are on Our Heart Radio platform. You can search us on Our Heart Radio. Go to ourheartradio.com and search uh, Men to Men Talk Back. You're going to see Pastor Carl and myself uh, pictures, photos up in the uh, flyer picture, our profile picture for the show. Um, we are on SoundCloud. We, of course, on this uh, platform here that we're on now. And it goes out throughout the world. Anywhere they get a, 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 a internet connection, we live. And and um, we, we are all out in New York. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. We're in Texas. We're in Tennessee. You know, we're, of course, North Carolina, Raleigh, Wendell, you know, those local areas, Zebulon. Um, but, you know, we, we are, we're we're doing it, man. And I thank God for this uh, radio broadcast. We, 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 we actually, the 18th of this month will be... Um, I was going into our uh, fifth year, uh, I think it's fifth year or sixth year. I have to go back and look look at it that I've been broadcasting. But this show has is, is been, going, been going good. We get a lot of good feedback um, on, on here, especially about some of the topics. So we're going to be hitting those topics next week. Amen. And let somebody know that we're broadcasting um, Sunday night through uh, Thursday nights on the radio. Now, Pastor Carl said he got events coming up in February. Uh, Pastor Carl, I have uh, been telling uh, some of the, my clients that come in that I want to bring their young uh, young boys, and we're going to tackle the young boys. Um, hopefully, um, the week of um, they get out on Easter break here, and I want to um, already lined up to do um, pizza and just have a conversation with them because a lot of them that come in that shop don't have a father figure, and they've been acting out, and I've been talking to them. I've been getting on them. Um, you know, a lot of times I tell the mama, just let them stay in here. So a lot of times the mama leave. I said, come back in an hour. You know, I could talk to them. They, they, you know, they'll pretty much mind me, you know, but I, I, I do want to do something uh, on behalf of the Tim May Radio Broadcast and uh, Healing Word Ministries uh, and, you know, for our community. So look, look, if you're free, Pastor Carl. Um, if you're free, uh, no, you know I'm there. You know I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna buy some. I'm gonna buy pizza and have some donuts and juice and, and and matter of fact, I might carry my um my movie thing down there. And we can catch we can catch a movie or something. Uh, you know I got my TV hanging up now, so you got to come on down and check it out. But I um. So, so you you want to have it at the barbershop? Yeah, it's gonna be at the shop. Yeah, it's gonna be at the shop. I told everybody okay, it's gonna, gotcha. I'm gonna have it there. Um and um. That, that that's a place that you know it's kind of a uh, medium for everybody that been coming in and bringing their kids and um we can do it there for the first one now the next one i know uh we got access to the to the college you know so but but i want this to be the first one we can grow down at the shop i also told a few other uh uh of my older clients and they 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 want to come so uh again mm-hmm. again we want to tackle this because again you got a lot of uh, uh, uh single mothers you know, and granted, regardless of what happened, they got the kids, the kids, you know, that that's that's important to me. And, and a lot of them, you know, acting out in school and because and when I talk to the parent, you know, a lot of them say, you know, uh, a lot of the parents telling me because the daddy don't want to have nothing to do with them. 
and 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 so so you know I can feel that you know what I'm saying I can feel that so this is why I want to do something for them and we can talk to them and encourage them to be the you know best they can be you know ask them what they want to do in life you know and cater to and, and start to you know help them out what they want to do and and long and, and feed them feed them a little something you know so 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 the weekend uh the week the week uh they get out for the Easter break. And I'll be getting back with you on 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 the, the the time. I think it's probably like a Saturday after I close, uh, Pastor, and you can bring them on. They can come on in and, and chill out. Um, like I said, I got the TV hanging up on the wall now, man. And um, you know, we might can uh, we might can catch a movie or something while and eat pizza and just kick back and talk with them a little bit. Just just chill out for 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 a, a couple hours. Amen. Amen, amen. Listen, we got a lot working on this year, so y'all be y'all be uh, praying for us. And if you would like to um, donate, you can hit inbox either Pastor Carl or you can um, email me at pastoracris2016 at gmail.com. You know, no offering is too small, no seed is too small. Amen. That we continue to do a work because a lot of the a lot of the seed someone that goes into this show to help with the show, it end up going to help our young people out in the community so like pastor said we ain't in in it because you know i got a business out and pastor carl he, he got a job so we ain't, we ain't looking for no money ain't we just looking to for some help to help others amen so god bless each and every one of you meet us back here at nine o'clock we're gonna continue with the broadcast and uh so stay tuned we got the weather coming up in just a minute and so we'll be right back so stay tuned The time is 28 minutes past the hour, 10 o'clock. And now for our weather forecast tonight, we're looking at a low of 27 degrees. Sunday, Sunday, I mean Thursday, we have sunny skies, high of 40 with a low of 23. And then Friday, mostly sunny, high of 44 with a low of 25. That's your two day and a half forecast. Amen. I'll tell you, we had a great show again. We thank God for all of you again tuning in tonight. Uh, for those that are on the radio, God bless you. Share this on your Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, any other social media page you have. If you missed the conversation in the beginning, you can go back and listen to the replay. It'll be available shortly. And until next time, God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. Can't be ashamed. Yeah. I live that Christian lifestyle. I can't wait a while. I got to live it right now. Covered in the blood of Jesus, gon' it wipe me down I'm too fresh, gon' it wipe me down I live like a disciple now Everlasting high, God be saying Jesus loud Because the enemy trying to wipe us out Blood of Jesus gotta clean us now Glorious, so much lust It's the Lord, he attached to us We can't fully understand his love for this world, it's like he gave it up. The face of Father God, he make it up. Made in his image on that mountain, he was glowing up. Transfigurated, James and John was stuck. Peter spoke by tabernacles, yup. Have all of me suffice eternal life. My life is not my own, cause I'm a living sacrifice. Superman, but ain't no crib tonight. Invincible with Jesus' blood, I can sense the light. Light of the world, the 
sword of the world. Can't lose the safe and preach the gospel with a flame. Yup. Avoid the fame, cause I was made from dust. Born in the spirit, kill the flesh, what's up? I live that Christian lifestyle. I can't wait a while, I gotta live it right now. Covered in the blood of Jesus, gonna wipe me down. I'm too fresh, gonna wipe me down. I live like a disciple now. Everlasting high, got me saying Jesus loud. Because the enemy trying to wipe us out. Blood of Jesus gotta clean us now. Philippians 1 and 6, I'm confident. And the Lord, forget the pence. Not confident, cause I got sense. I thank the Lord for common sense. Yeah, that president say why I'm motivated. Righteous indignation, mammon got us walking faithless. Doubt and worryation, loss of patience. Robbers of our faith, we feel forsaken. But we can't feel forsaken nor naked. Jesus said he never leave us nor forsake us. Eyes closed, we gotta awaken. I got the trumpet, plus I got a cadence. The word of God, they tryna erase it. Put the Bibles back in school, I rebuke Satan. Knowledge applied to God, you making strides. On eagle's wings, let's take a ride, yeah. I live that Christian lifestyle. I can't wait a while, I gotta live it right now. Covered in the blood of Jesus, gonna wipe me down. I'm too fresh, gonna wipe me down. I live like a disciple now. Everlasting high, got me saying Jesus loud. Because the enemy trying to wipe us out. Blood of Jesus gotta clean us now. I live that Christian lifestyle. I can't wait a while, I gotta live it right now. Covered in the blood of Jesus, gonna wipe me down. I'm too fresh, gonna wipe me down. I live like a disciple now. Everlasting high, got me saying Jesus loud. Because the enemy trying to wipe us out. Blood of Jesus gotta clean us now.